What we want to, dis to discuss in this video is um, the case of a free particle. A free particle is, um, or a free object uh, is moving without external force. So there is no potential, it's only the kinetic energy. Um, therefore the Lagrange in this case is just half m uh, the velocity squared. Let's consider two um, events, A and B. And we know that uh, the classical path for free particles, so when there is no potential, uh, between these two events will be a constant uh, velocity motion. So there will be no acceleration because there is no force, there is no potential. We know that whether we solve it with Newton or with the Lagrange equation. So the action for the classical path is just a time integral between ta and tb of half m v0 squared where v0 is a constant. Um, then we can take all the constants out of the integral and the integral between ta and tb uh, of 1 is just tb minus ta. Let's now consider an arbitrary path x of t and let's calculate um, uh, or express the uh, average velocity along this path. By definition, uh, this is the time integral of uh, the velocity at each time, so the in time integral of x dot of t, um, divided by the total time, which is tb minus ta. And when we see that when we do the time integral of x dot, we just have the difference between xb and xa, um, divided by tb minus ta. This is nothing else but the velocity v0 we um, introduced earlier. So, interestingly, whatever the path between these two events, the average velocity will be the same for every path, it will be v0. Let's now also define the average of the square of the velocity. So that's the uh, integral between t and tb um, of x dot squared and uh, divided by tb by minus ta. So let's calculate the action for this arbitrary path x of t, that's um, the integral between ta and tb of half m x dot squared, um, which, which I can write also as half m tb minus ta times the average of v squared. And for that I just used the expression of v squared I just calculated earlier. Now what I want to do is to show that this average of uh, v squared is always greater than um, the average of v if I were to square it. So to show that uh, we start with um, the fact that the uh, square of v minus the average of v has to be greater than zero because it's um, it's a square. Uh, now if we take the average of that, of course it has also to be greater than zero. So um, expanding the square we get the uh, average of v squared plus the average of v squared uh, minus 2v times the average of v. Using the fact that the average of a sum is the sum of the average, which you can easily work out from the definition of the average here, um, we can write that uh, this expression is the average of v squared uh, plus the average of the average of v squared minus the average of 2v times the average of v. Now, of course, the average of v is a number, so is the average of v squared. Um, so taking another average doesn't change anything, it's just the average of the number, it's the same number. So this thing is just the average of v squared. And for the last term, we can take all the constants out of the average, so the 2 can go out. And so 
uh, is the average of v, which is also a constant, it's also a number, uh, so I can take it out. Uh, therefore, this term is just 2, uh, the average of v, times the average of v again, so that's uh, the average of v squared. Combining, we see that we have uh, the average of v squared uh, minus the average of v squared has to be greater than 0. So the average of v squared has to be greater than the average of v squared. Um, and the average of v, we work it out earlier, um, is just v naught. So that's equal to uh, v naught squared. Now we multiply by half m uh, tb minus ta on each side. So we see that on the left uh, we have the action for the path, the arbitrary path x, while on the right we have the action for uh, the classical path xc. And therefore, we can write that the action for an arbitrary path, x, in the case of a free particle at least, is always greater than the action for the classical path, which is a constant velocity path in this case.